Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for June 25th of 2024 is titled the Dark Doodad Nebula. So what do we see here? Well, here we see what is known as a dark nebula, and this one nicknamed as the dark doodad. And it is a dark nebula, which is dust in space. Now, dust in space is not like dust on Earth. It's not the typical household dust that you think of. It's actually uh, small particles, in fact, much smaller than the dust you would have around your house. But it is good at blocking out light. And why does it do that? Well, even though the particles are vastly spread out over long or wide areas of space, they are enough of them there. And there's a large enough area that eventually when you look in that direction, you are always looking at a dust particle. And that means they become opaque and you cannot see through that. And you can see some of these dusty areas. Some of them, there's a little bit of dust. Not enough to become opaque so you can see stars through it. However, the light from those stars is dimmed a little bit. Now you can't really tell that from looking at this image, but you could make measurements of those stars and figure out that they're not as bright as you might think that they would be otherwise. It also has a tendency to redden the stars to turn them slightly red. And if you look closer to the darker areas, you'll tend to see redder stars, not because they're necessarily truly red, but because the dust is very good at scattering out the shorter wavelengths. And that would be the blues and the greens. And that leaves behind the red colors to come through the dust. So those are the ones that we see, especially when you look very close to the dusty areas. Sometimes you see some very deep red stars, which are highly reddened by the dust. Now we can see some other things here also associated with dust. And that is, for example, the blue reflection nebula around the bright star there. So that blue is actually caused by the dust as well. The dust scatters the light around. Now, how does it do both things? Well, when there's the presence of dust around it that isn't too dense, then the star can still be seen, but the shorter wavelengths are scattered and come from all directions, much as the light of our sky is blue because of the scattering of light by molecules in the atmosphere. So here the blue comes from all over and the other colors can come straight through then. So we can see this and what goes on in here is it is a region of star formation. So within those dark dusty areas, stars would just be beginning to form would be the very early stages of star formation. And some of those dark knots there will eventually maybe in a couple hundred thousand years emerge as stars break out of the cocoons and will be begin to become visible. And eventually, perhaps a small cluster of stars will be visible here, although we may have to wait a few million years to be able to see something like that. So that was our picture of the day for June 25th of 2024. It was titled the Dark Doodad Nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be a sky show. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.